This video is sponsored by Amazon Coins. Amazon Coins is a digital currency that you can use for in-game purchases on apps found in the Amazon App Store, just like Epic 7. With Amazon Coins, you'll rack up huge discounts, up to 20% off. Here, let me show you how simple it is as an Amazon Coin user myself. It's hunt buff day on Epic 7, and because I'm hunting like a madman, I need a quick pick-me-up. So let's go get some leaf. And there you go, as simple as that. Amazon coins are currently available in the United States, the UK, Germany, France, Japan, Italy, Spain, and Australia. Use my link found in the description below to support me and the channel while getting these great discounts in your next in-game purchase. The link will also provide you with step-by-step -step instructions on getting the Amazon App Store and Epic 7 installed on your device. Hey guys, welcome to another session of Epic 7. This is going to be an account showcase for my World Arena Resolution season. Uh, as you can see, I completed Emperor. Emperor is pretty chill this season since I got the uh, benefit early on of uh, Tatsuni coaching with Vinny and as well as Elf Mage because of my participation in the uh, content creator battles, the uh, tournament that was held just a couple weeks ago as I'm making this recording. Uh, with uh, Elf Mage's help, really opened up my eyes and really solidified my drafting uh, as well as he spent a lot of time correcting or rather helping me build heroes up to his level. Um, so what you're going to see here is uh, 78 heroes built. Uh, I'm actually going to filter this to locked heroes only. This is a trick that my uh, my guildmate uh, uh, Vaxus actually told me that he learned from uh, KJ who is a uh, legend Korean uh, uh, legend RTA player, uh, Korean streamer. Um, he actually does this. It's actually a pretty good idea. Uh, you just basically lock your heroes, uh, and uh, while you're selecting World Arena, you you basically have like a quicker way to shift through heroes that are actually built for World Arena. So right now I have it, uh, all my World Arena heroes locked. The other ones are unlocked, but they have gear on, so you can't really sell them. Um, so that's a cool trick, all right? So anyways. Let's get into it, uh, 78 heroes, I want to make this fast because uh, I already did a take before this and it took forever. <laughs> My RB has been downgraded in terms of speed, it used to be 250 speed, 4.2k attack, 300 crit damage. Uh, the way RB is used right now, uh, it's really hard to use, um, cleavers are really smart so RB most of the time is a dead pick. But uh, just in case I do use him, I have him higher damage with the Alexis Basket. I think uh, once he gets the greater attack buff with that kind of uh, stats, it looks pretty good. Anyways. For this showcase again, I'm going to kind of just showcase the gear. I'm going to blast through it. 78 heroes is quite a bit. Most of the times you guys are just watching, uh, looking at an image gear type of uh, image album. So it's just way easier to function. Uh, Kisei, you know, she's really good still, in my opinion. She's still a really, really strong pocket pick. Uh, the disable LQCs and stuff like that. I wish I had uh, 18 percent attack imprint uh one of the things that you will see is that my speed dps gear is very lacking on this account uh it's very very hard to get on my account but um i'm doing my best so this is my key say uh, on pen set i like that 100 percent crit rate and the pen set does do a lot of damage uh strays on immunity originally had him 250 speed uh, and uh, Vinny told me, oh, put him on immunity, just in case you have to run him into a Rimuru, and if you have an attack buff on strays, Rimuru steals only the immunity and the attack buff, and then he totally misses the uh, invincibility buff. Um, so either he wastes S3 into you to steal the invincibility buff, uh, in invincibility buff thereafter, and then Rimuru really runs out of steam, or he basically just only steals the attack and immunity, which your strays already one-shot something, on the table ideally so that's my strays right now um <clears throat> i'm okay with his damage stats i wish it was a bit faster though um even if it's on immunity i wish it was like a 245 this spectenny is a glass cannon uh i did draft her into the uh in the tournament and i used her to nuke out a rg shadow versus samu gamer during the semi-finals this is my glass cannon uh spectenny honestly gear score wise is not that good you'll see on the uh on the right side gear uh, when we get there, this one's actually a really good chest. Uh, this is a not a not a really good one, not an optimal uh, neck for her. Uh, I want more HP. I want like ten thousand HP. I'd even settle for the defense there, but if I can st stick with the same damage, 
um, that would be ideal. I'm looking into a crit damage set spec tenny with the uh, destruction sets getting buffed soon. Um, I actually have a build that uh, is slightly slower, but like like more damage than that and actually more bulk. So I'm probably going to convert her to a destruction set. I'll see though. I kind of do like the speed. I kind of like her uh, being able to have a turn when a DN or some CR pusher gives, gives, her, uh, gives her a little push. Um, there she'll be, uh, yeah, this says, uh, 18, uh, attack imprint, uh, Celine, uh, I don't use her a lot, but, uh, she is nice to, uh, hostage, hostage, uh, like an Amelia pick, so, like, uh, sometimes in the right scenario, a uh, Rimru with a green Celine, very, very solid together, I'll just show the stats, uh, has a lot of health, uh, she is a Scorpio Thief, so uh, having like 6,000 base health is really, really easy to get that health up. Uh, with an Aureus or some kind of mitigation, she does survive uh, maybe two hits from a, like a regular DPS, so 13,000 HP, not bad on that for that damage and the speed. Fire Cowric, and like I said before, my speed DPS gear is one of my biggest struggles on this account. So just, you know, you can laugh at this, so most likely you'll have better speed DPS gear than me. Uh, overall, but he functions again to disable something like an LQC or something like that. Um, I have found the use for Kisei Kaurik double picks before and actually works. So either into like a A Robbie Spectenny pick, A Robbie Spectenny LQC pick, something like that. These two double up can like wipe the entire team before they can kill them. So that's pretty good to have. Um, my Opsig never had to up update. Um, I did make a triple S from that. Uh, uh, that hunt event thing that we had where we get the free cigarette. Um, so she's uh, damage is okay uh, In my opinion, I, I probably want a bit more attack if I can lose the immunity for a crit set I don't think I would mind the immunity is just because like this set of gear Fits with this crit rate neck. This is the only reason why I put her on immunity um, Maybe some kind of AOE blind AOB debuff that helps a bit um, a resistance check it could be good too uh, either way, I kind of hope that I can give her on a crit set though because I don't use her so much that the immunity pays off. Politis here just to do big damage in case I need her uh, versus uh, people who draft Amelia and have a have a squishier Spectenny or squish, like a squishier Landy. She's there to stop that which is nice to have. Most of the time Politis is banned though so I didn't really get to see her much this season. Hopefully those... Uh, those stats. Did I flash these stats too, actually? I think I might be doing it too quick. Let's like slow down a bit as I'm talking about the characters. Yeah, um, and then, and then yeah, apologies, I think I did. Uh, Etta, uh, the 240 speed, I think 245, maybe 250 speed would be the sweet spot. 240 probably good enough, though. Um, if I remember correctly, 240 is probably the sweet spot. 245 to be secure, extra secure. Uh, the damage is along the low side, um, but she works when I need her to. Um, only plus 10 Mola. a -Raw is one of my favorite heroes back, of course, because of the buff, the backline barrier buff, the uh, increased healing, and then now the guaranteed dual attack on the highest attack, which has also always been weird to me that th that was a buff, but uh, I guess it's the word wording needed to be different. I want to max this to uh, a 9%, 8% to 9% health if I can, a greater rule here, um, because he does scale pretty, pretty quickly, and then I want to convert this flat HP to speed. I like him fast, I like him so that he can be buffed and and or get buffs up quick um and instead of like staying behind this is kind of uh this is kind of an unfortunate neck but this is what i had left over with speed on speed set on hp with resist defense you know what have you um but the stats work the uh uh ancient inheritance uh boot always really good that one's actually really good this landy i used uh for both samu gamer in the semifinals and the tournament and for the d xander for the finals uh, this, this Landy was built to last a Rimuru, a regular DPS Rimuru, not full DPS Rimuru, regular, like, Bruiser Rimuru, uh, through an Aureus and the backline with the a as that pairing is very, very solid. Um, if you guys saw that tournament or saw my fight with it, uh, I think I was the, one of the first ones to experiment with that. <clears throat> I remember, uh, Shotgun Shogun was, uh, commentating on that fight and, I went to watch back, uh, went back to watch his VOD, and he was commenting. He's like, "Oh, Rimmer's gonna kill the Landy," but, but a lot of people didn't know that interaction with that uh, backline barrier. Super good into Landy, uh, it would protect her. 
um, it really saved me, that interaction with AROS. Uh, and so my Landy is actually built. Um, you can see the damage is like okay, the speed is not that good, immunity is nice to have, but the defense and the health is like tuned to counter Xander's Rimuru and Samu Gamer's Rimuru. Um, I don't think Samu actually used the Rimuru on this one, but an LQC splash damage still kept her alive because of the AROS fat barrier. Uh, Cecilia, uh, 265 speed, uh, I want to actually uh, pull for her a bit more this summer because I don't have this maxed. Um, so when she comes back, I'm probably going to pull for her more. Um, she might be a bit too fast actually, she doesn't even need to be that fast. Maybe more attack priority would be good. This is a flat attack neck though, basically was chasing the speed. Um, but all in all, it's just like a whatever, like she works, right? when she lands bombs, she just wrecks. So. Um, maybe more bulk would be nice in the future. Uh, Briar Witch's Siri, I never drafted her once, but this this entire account showcase is is basically uh, an account that you know, especially in the tournament settings when there could be up to ten pre bands. I had to basically stretch my gear thin, thin, thin in order to get all these heroes built. I think uh, these stats are okay. She'll do damage um, with an attack buff, especially, and if I could get a soul burn before she can like take the turn. I think she'll do damage, so pretty good. I'm okay with that, but I hardly drafted her. Hua Yang, I uh, pre banned her. Uh, I used her and spammed her and abused her, of course, when I was climbing. And then once I got into uh, high champ emperor territory and fought some legends, Hua Yang just didn't do it for me anymore. If you allow your opponents to have Hua Yang, you have to start drafting around her. Uh, and I don't like that. I don't like drafting around. A hero that they pick early um usually well i mean i mean it, it is part of like like you know drafting but i i, I just don't like hua yang uh, on the field when i use her i get clapped when other people use her i get clapped so uh i pre-banned her <laughs> pretty much when i took rta seriously i started pre-banning her um so you would see that in the tournament reflection as well and all my ladder fights is she's pre-banned first um I'm starting the preseason right now and even the E7WC mode. Uh, the first pre ban I do is always Hua Yang. I actually leave Ran open. Um, so if they first pick a Ravi, I can pick Ran. If they if they first pick Ran, I can pick a Ravi. Just don't let your opponent have both of them together. If they first pick anything else, I pick Ran and a Ravi. So I, I usually actually allow Ran. Otherwise, Ran is my second pre ban. Uh, Rylet, honestly, lost a lot of. Uh, He's not that usable anymore because of AOL, because of Solitaria, because of all the other issues. Um, in my opinion, I think uh, if I had a speed set pen Rylet, that would be the way to go. Um, otherwise, I'm okay with the stat that's on this Rylet, to be honest. Like, the damage is there, the bulk is what I need if I use him. ML Charles, one of my favorites this season, although I don't use him a lot. I don't play aggro a lot, only when I see a really good opportunity to shift into aggro. Um, he actually has a lot of my ran gear when I ran uh, what we call true ran or real ran, which is like uh, ran with DPS. Um, but I put it on him because I felt like I needed more openers that I didn't pre-ban, which ran is one of my pre-bans. The uh, ML Celine, I really really like this one. I stretched her quite thin in order to prepare her for the tournament. As you can see, there's 94% crit rate. Um, I'm hoping for the other two, uh, two imprints that would give her near 100% crit rate. I'm just gonna quickly show the stats to make this work. You just really need a couple high speed pieces on life steal and uh, ideally on your pen sets as well. And then uh, and then you got a usable one. I mean, realistically, if I had higher gear score on this, you'd see more damage, so more attack or more crit damage. Uh, I'm going to bank on the self imprint for the crit rate or more speed. So um, the life steal is a huge difference though. In case you don't get the greater proc, you actually heal a lot. Um, it's really good, especially with dust double. Um, I, I, I've lost with a speed set Celine before because she didn't do the greater proc so therefore not heal enough and then she died. Uh, F clearly was in response to the DN Aeola meta. Um, this is uh, yeah I mean I, I would probably run the the, the release anyways. Uh, this was an elf mage special in terms of elf mage told me to build her um, at, at pretty much these stats so basically having higher HP because of the Aureus and then uh, having some speed and especially the effectiveness to basically strip the DN uh, the DN's uh, buffs, uh, and also yeah, it's, it's just pretty. She's pretty good. I did use her uh, once in ladder, 
Uh, I never used her in the tournament, but I did use her once in Lotto, and it did really help. And it was her that won the fight. I was able to disable an LQC um, without the cleanser. Like, the cleanser was faster than the... Uh, th it was like DN. It was faster than the Cleary, but the Cleary was able to disable the LQC for one turn, and it killed her off, so it was pretty good. Um, uh, let's see, Emma Karik. Of course, very, very strong this season. A lot of people run him on the uh, effect resistance type of build. Um, so they could swap this on and give him like a, a over 100% effect resist. So he could resist the Edas and, you know, what have you, uh, Ice Kisei. I personally like the effectiveness on him. I actually chased this, uh, not only because these had decent speed on it, um, but I actually chased that uh, in order to get the effectiveness for the strip. The strip comes in handy. Uh, I've actually stripped an Aria and uh, Lionheart Sermia after she procced because the S2 is so good, right? Dispelling all buffs? Like, if it's dispelling like two buffs, maybe I'd be like, okay, effectiveness is not that good. You know, take your chances. But with like all buffs, it feels like it's too good. So I actually chase the effectiveness on this. You can see the clean, no crit rate, no crit damage, but the effectiveness is there. Um, I actually chased it because it actually works for me that way. Uh, Milam, I used this in the uh, in the tournament. Uh, honestly, my opponent could have killed her, but uh, but he didn't go for her, and uh, she ended up helping the win. Um, so the damage is decent. Uh, it is uh, it is life steal on this artifact, which never procced in the tournament, which is actual BS. Because I've seen counter sets proc more than that, um, even though it's the same counter rate. Uh, if this defense is rolled to 8%, I do think I hit the 1300 defense. Ideally, when she comes back, if I triple less her, the 6% the, the attack imprint here almost brings her to 4000 attack. I think that's really good on the attack. Crit damage I'm satisfied with. Maybe speed, and then of course defense because she's a mage. It's unfortunate that I don't have that much gear score on this uh, on this. Uh, uh, Milam uh, outside of the sword, I think, and then this is not bad. Um, but uh, there was always room for improvements. I personally don't like Milam as a landy counter option. I feel like I feel like landy teams can be so aggro that uh, unless you're running a speed Milam on book, you're not killing that landy. Um, you had to take a 50 50 chance too, because if your opponent runs a bruiser landy, you're still not killing the landy. Um, uh, like a like a really good bruiser landy uh t Surin, i never drafted her but she is ready to use so that's part of the account here she is part of my roster for my uh world arena let me quickly just show it just in case i need her she is still built although on a lot of purple gear um her damage is pretty good especially if you get a if i get alexa's basket proc. uh pillis uh very good knight into uh aoe especially specifically and then uh some minor debuffs because she can cleanse so uh, I do like her. I actually drafted her a lot at the early season. When a -Roz got buffed, a -Roz became my knight of choice. And then FCC late picks, if anything. Um, Pillis, I started not using her in like my last like, you know, 30 games or something like that. This is my D-Gen AOL. I do have another AOL. Um, uh, D-Gen AOL is really to pair with the DN type of comp. Um, this was running rampant and I felt like I needed this one built. Um, I'm okay with her stats. I think it's fine and I got to use my 88 defense set so I'm pretty satisfied with that. I do usually have her on the defense release so I am missing some effectiveness but it's hot swappable so very very good. This A Ravi is an elf mage special. Um, he got me to build this A Ravi. She was on counter before um, but uh, he wanted me on speed. He wanted me on like higher damage like his um, so he said that mine is close to his so if you want to well I mean I think elf mage is open to op like seeing showing his stats anyway, but His a Ravi roughly looks I think something like somewhere in between the two um, So in the tournament I use the a Ravi on the right side uh, Right now I'm using the left side one because the right side one posed an issue when I was fighting Xander I could have won uh, I think it was the second fight or maybe the third fight I think it was the second one. I could have won it because my A Ross dual attacked with Solitaria instead of A Ravi. Solitaria has higher base attack, and my Solitaria had higher attack, even though she had like one attack percent substat. One attack percent substat, which is actually BS. Um, but it's just because uh, Solitaria is a mage and she just has higher base attack. A Ravi's class has very low base attack, so it was really surprising for me to see, but then I just realized, oh, that sucks. So I put her on higher attack, higher crit damage. She does more damage, but lower bulk. 
Um, with Frenzy, the left side A Robbie does more damage, especially when you get to about Frenzy three, Frenzy four. Um, but the uh, but the right side, the bulk is really really nice for that early turn, right? So up to Frenzy two. Um, I just hope that I can get a better boot. This boot is a 66 gear score. Everything else is like 70 plus. So like this this um, on both sides. This one's also 70 plus. Uh, if it's the boot, the boot, if it's like if I get a better one. The my A Robbie would be like pretty good. It would be pretty good. Uh, Solitaria really really worked this season. Um, I mean she's a really disgusting hero to begin with anyway. Uh, but I was gonna build her this way, and I probably will with the uh, with my free equip. Uh, something like this. Um, I want more effectiveness. Basically, I, I think that uh, low effectiveness on her is is a hindrance. I rather do something like this on the on the right side here. The defense is always really good to have because I have her on a defense main, but the HP is slightly on the low side, so I'll probably have to find a better chest. Like basically, I just don't have a better chest than this right now. That's spare. Yeah, I don't have any anymore. Everything else is used on premium heroes. Um, but the solitary did work. Like the way that she worked here, she worked all season pretty much. Um, this is self imprinted though. Uh, let me just quickly show the gear 19 speed 14 speed 17 speed 20 speed 15 speed on er and then we got a speed boot so yeah solitary disgusting hero my rimuru was uh on uh immunity speed set before with roughly the same damage and then he failed to kill a pavel which i was surprised either it was an unoptimized pavel or my rimuru just sucked but with the pen set now, he kills. So this is great. Uh, here are the substats. Just quickly show it. Uh, I kind of want to build him more like less less tanky, even though this is not really even that tanky. Uh, but more emphasize on damage. Um, I do feel that Rimru now is not like unless you can soul burn turn one, he's not gonna last a long time. So you really want to just like kill something. Um, that's my theory at least. Um, I kind of hope that when he comes back, I'll probably pull for some imprints as well. Get him to triple S. Um, he, he's a monster. His S1 does hit pretty hard. I think it's a 1.1 or 1.2 times mod. Pretty good. Basar, I didn't use him at all this season. So let me just quickly go through this and, uh, you know, like, I mean, he's built to be used just in case. He has some decent speed stuff on him, actually. Maybe I should prioritize on the, uh, some, some other heroes. I probably will. Um, I didn't get to use him. I think with Alencia buffed right now, Alencia is a better choice than Basar. More aggro, and then uh, still provides the strip. Just no unbuffable and no pushback. Uh, last Rider Crowd with ER, uh, definitely necessary versus um, uh, Arshima Shadow type of fights. Um, he is pretty good into that. Uh, if they have a Bellion, uh, most Bellions are running injury right now, but uh, to some Bellions who are the injury but lower damage, and you have an Aureus holder as well. She's not cutting through that barrier that quick, so I have won a fight where I just run this last rider crowd into an injury belly and I still won. Um, so it's good. Um, K-Ron uh, was on speed set and uh, that failed me because one time I was just, you know, getting lapped by a Sid and a green Sid or whatever and he was the only one alive and if he had countered, I would have won easy. Um, basically the a Sid had evasion up, but if I had counter like, you know, in between or whatever, he would have won. So. Uh, now he's on counter set and he has decent damage uh, with Shepherd of the Hollow uh, to add some extra damage. Uh, DJ and Carrot, uh, didn't really get to use her too much, maybe once or twice, but um, uh, Etika Scepter, not that good. Uh, my finding is that uh, Book is better no matter what, because if you're running her into a Bellion, which is the, really the only reason you're using Etika Scepter, you're running into a Bellion, you still might not get the proc, and sometimes she's not that good into Bellion because Bellion might be paired with a, a cleanser. Um, so it, I, I personally think that I don't mind the bulk like this actually, it's killed Spectenies like this uh, passively through her burn, um, but I think book for sure, book for her, book, book for sure and then maybe just don't bring her into a Bellion. Um, Acid is actually pretty trash, like I said, my uh, my account doesn't have a lot of speed DPS gear, so it is uh, it is what it is. I have to live with it. This is good for like maybe sniping out uh, someone who drafts a Kisei or a Charles, and then he becomes like a force ban. Oh, ML Charles rather. Then he becomes like a force ban. Senya not really used. I just built her just in case I need her. Um, I I know that there are some Senya lovers out there, so this is not going to be one that will make you happy. 
And this is not a really good send yet. She's been downgraded 3-4 times because of Emma Kawazu and Carrot. Which I find more usable in this meta. Uh, Crow, uh, Crow, very very strong, especially you know near the end when Archie Machado, Lionheart Sermia, and all these bruisers that deal a lot of damage over time, but have about only be, maybe about like fifteen thousand HP, sixteen thousand HP on average. Crow becomes a really strong killer for those, and you know what he's always been. But in case of like Archie Machado case, very very good because. There's nothing she can seal on him that would stop him from killing her. So Crow is back in action. I wish he. I, I wish I had triple S. Um, uh, he just eludes me. <laughs> I triple S last round Crow, but not uh, blue Crow. Watcher Shuri, not much to say. Just good damage. Sometimes paired with uh, Mo Charles in my drafts. Uh, just show the stats. This is actually a pretty good uh attack ring actually flat attack ring. Yep. And a speed imprint, of course. Aria, I molded her plus 15 for the tournament. Never drafted her once. And I think it's because I don't know how to draft her yet. Um, and I never felt like I needed, like, I never had a, a position where I was just like, ah, if I had Aria there, it would have worked. The other thing is that this Aria does have a very, very bad gear in terms of, like, look at all the attack. Look at all the attack. So almost 2.3k attack. Um, a very, very unoptimized. Uh, she could be a lot better if i eventually get the gear i will be farming banshee though this coming hunt buff so that's uh, going to be something i keep looking forward to <laughs> new aria gear she is plus 15 i may as well use her sage ball is not good enough to stop really anything so let me just show the stats he's got some spare gear on um but uh i think anti-cleave he works sometimes just nothing that can uh not like a versus a para this can't resist anything Trouble make a closet I do use a lot now, um, uh, especially against anti cleave. Uh, it's still one of the best nights I think for anti cleave, just because he has cleanse, just because the holy sack and then the protection in the back line. Very very good pair with a Robbie. I'm sure that uh, if you are drafting against cleave, you have done that yourself. Um, but that's a really good one. Uh, Ran, Ran. I used to run him on damage, but he had my ML Charles gear. Uh, but uh, now I kind of want to build him like this. Just quickly show a preview. Uh, again, it is pending on uh, if I get the right stats uh, and also more gear. Um, I kind of want to build him like this. Uh, it's not it's not super good, but uh, you know better than what I have on the left side. And you know give him a, a maxed like max this artifact out at least to plus ten. Uh, like I said, I do pick him when I when there's only single bands. I ban Hua Yang over him, um, and I already told you my strategies. Sid mainly just if she if he could get a turn, that's kind of cool. Uh, this is pretty memey. Uh, <laughs> uh, that I don't think it really works, but uh, just quickly show the stats. He is built. This I rolled on stream one day. That was really pog. Okay, Zahawk, Bruiser Zahawk. Uh, I drafted him at the uh, one of the last few matches in in uh, in the closing season uh, when I got Amp, uh, and he was banned because he was the the right ban. Um, he he can he can set things back, especially like Lionheart Sermias, and he can kill on the next turn. So this is uh, yeah using the uh, resource reduction one, EE that is. Uh, I do use him into Violet's uh, Guild War offense and stuff like that. Cerise built just in case I need her. Not super well though. Just again, has some spare speed gear on her just to make her work. Uh, Alencia, loving the new buffs on Alencia. I uh, I did rate her, bu rate her pretty high. Uh, when I was uh, fighting Xander on my winning team, I used her and Charlotte. Um, and I was on Durandal. Uh, let me just equip this right now. So I was on Durandal, so these are the stats that were reflected in that last fight with Xander in the tournament. Um, I was actually predicting him that he... I wanted him to use Landy. Um, and then he chose Landy. And I actually built this Alencia to counter his Landy. Um, with the Durandal, just in case her S3 does a lot of damage, I can push more with her new S3. Strip all buffs, so just like ML Kaurik, right? So she gets the Mind Die, 50% effectiveness. Dispelling all buffs really good, and the CR boost by 20%. Oh, sorry, 50% CR boost. So she's ready for the next turn. So this ideally dispels Landy, knocks her out of stealth, and then we got uh, S S1 into S2. 
and then there's a bye bye Landy, right? So conceptually, it really works. And I did predict that she would be really good into DN as well, uh, which I think she is. Um, she will strip DN really well. It's just that you have to make sure Angel of Light Angelica is not on that team, right? Otherwise, the skill not comes out. But uh, but overall, she's pretty good. Um, this is already a lower quality gear than she was at. Um, originally, I had given her what my A Robbie had, and she looked insanely good. She looked insanely good on pen set too, um, but uh, with the new buffs coming, wait, why did I roll that into health? I wonder what that was. Hmm, that's not really good. Uh, I must have rolled it out of panic. Must be something like something useless. That's weird. And then this boot's not optimal as well. It has too much attack. Um, ideally, I want a better boot here. Um, if I'm gonna keep her on immunity, but so far she's working in the right draft, she works. Champions Rado, in case they have Para, um, and since like C Lilius and uh, you know Ran, sometimes they're banned as well. Uh, Para seems to be the one that people don't ban anymore because most people could deal with Para a lot easier. Champions Rado is just there just to do some damage. Actually, I'm, I I don't want to show the stats on that. I should have just X'd him from the showcase. May Chloe as well. Um, she's getting a buff, but this is not really good gear. So maybe I shouldn't even include this. Let's just move on. I don't use her. I don't use maid. Um, especially this season. FCC after the DJB buffs, um, it didn't really affect how I used her, actually. Um, mainly, I didn't draft her a lot because of Opsig. So in terms of like, I think what I learned is that I don't like drafting my knights early unless their first two picks already tells me what kind of knight I need. So for example, if they first pick a Robbie or a Rimuru or have their first DPS being a Rimuru, then my my knight to go to is like a Roz. Um, if they don't show that too early, I usually like to secure a buffer cleanser. So something like a DN, Amelia, or maybe a ML, ML Kauric, and then an a Robbie. And then when they show what kind of damage they're bringing, then I choose my damage dealer. I've done that even on the last couple fights of the season. Uh, before the season closed, um, I did FCC last pick and she made it in. Um, and so knight options are quite a lot. Unless you're trying to steal knights from your opponents, that's a whole different thing. So I think FCC still very strong even after DJB buffs. Just don't pick her too early if you don't want to be susceptible to DJB and op sig. Um, anyways, I showed the stats there. I think this is a pretty decent FCC. Uh, she is not maxed imprinted. I think she's maxed imprinted. I, she, I think she hits 30,000. Probably I want more speed and then lower the defense a bit in the future, but we'll see. Mort, I have to show because I actually plus 13 him. I just skipped this passive. I plus 13 him because of the tournament. And he actually made a play. <laughs> he made a play versus Samu Gamer during the semifinals. And uh, these are the stats. It's not even that amazing, but I got him to work. Um, at least for my team. Mainly because Samu Gamer runs a D-Gen Politis on Abyssal Crown. And he doesn't get slept or stun. And that was my main reason I, I brought him in. Um, and and he, he, he had a... He had some uh, HP scaling stuff that I wanted to injure. ADS, one of the most disgusting heroes I think in this season. Um, she's kind of like a decent neutral pick, especially if you have someone that could pull dual attacks like A. Ross or uh, C. Lilius. Um, I'm okay with mine actually. I actually like my high speed variant. I slowed her down for more bulk before, but I didn't notice a difference. Most people don't go straight attacking her unless it's something that can one shot her anyway. And then at that point, I don't know if the bulk saves her. So uh, her crit damage reduction is insanely good. Uh, and I think this is pretty overall. I, I do like this. If if I needed more attack, I usually just do this. But I don't usually find the need for it. I usually like the the uh, double slot health uh, imprint release. Um, the crit rate is okay. The crit damage, I wish it was a bit higher, but honestly, more bulk is good, but I like the speed. I like the speed on this uh, this uh, ADS. I used her quite a bit. Uh, Para, I lowered the speed. The, almost the entire season, I was running a 310 Para with 160 effect resistance, but I nerfed her because DN got buffed. Um, and, well, DN got an EE on top of the 15 frenzy. It was just it was just it kind of sucked not to take advantage of the the speed so i made dn faster by giving her some hand-me-downs but 305 is okay it's like usable anyway especially if they're not trying to contest your speed uh f10e i think uh i've seen screenshots i myself didn't really really use her but seeing screenshots of people last picking her still works and again because 
the fear of drafting FCC. FCC was one of the greatest deterrents to F10E um, outside of Violet and outside of like just cleansers in general. Um, but FCC in general is just impassive, just kind of set F10E apart. But F10E now, I think, can be coming back if FCC is not drafted as much. Dilla Bet, I actually went through a couple variations. Before, at the start of the season, she was on speed and she had lower damage but more bulk, like 16,000 HP, 2,000 more, uh, 2,000 plus defense. Uh, and then I went to counter and then now I'm I'm back at speed and I want more damage and I think the more damage variance is the the better one um, it deals with cleave better and then it uh, it also works into like AOLDN type of uh, comps which was pretty prominent especially near the end couple weeks of the uh, resolution season uh, the reasoning behind that is like, let's say for example, I first pick A-Robbie, they go DN, AOL, then uh, A-Robbie is still very strong into AOL, right? Um, but uh, you you go hand guy or maybe they banned hand guy, like pre ban hand guy, Dilibet is really solid, especially with this kind of damage on portrait. Um, her and A-Robbie combined together can take out Angel of Light pretty quick. Uh, and then you still have the active cleanse and this is actually just uh, overall I'm liking this build a lot better uh, I do always build actually with imprints in mind So I'm hoping to get lucky and then just fill out the rest of the crit with the imprints uh, Whale mentality I suppose uh, Amelia this season also very very strong uh, I did actually get triple S this time with a guardian crystal max and another one uh, that would be on my Ruel that I'll show later uh, The speed is not that great I can't get the speed but I love the effect resist I have on her Because with the guardian crystals she has about 200 effect resist and some uh, some C Lilius have a hard time getting over 100 effectiveness so in terms of just running her into C Lilius, I had actually quite high confidence that she wouldn't be able to push me back and whoever she pushed back, Amelia would just push up anyway. So that is uh, that. Is that. Um, in a C Lilius fight, I bring this, I turn this on. Non C Lilius fight, I turn on the attack, of course. Uh, wait, I already showed the gear, right? I showed the gear as I was talking. Yeah, I think I did. Uh, let me just do it again, just in case. Uh, yeah, so it's not the it's not the best gear, but uh, in the future I'll get some more. Uh, Mercedes is built, you know, just if there's like squishy targets that can proc this. Um, I realistically like let's say for a Landy a one on one, out of this hero, out of Milum, out of Fire Charlotte, I prefer Fire Charlotte over any of them because Fire Charlotte could bring attack down. Fire Charlotte can kill Landy, I think quicker than Milum in some degree. It just depends. It depends. If we're talking about Bruiser Landy all that kind of stuff but she is not max molded either so I, I probably that's another reason i have lack of confidence but i don't draft her a lot enough for me to merit that i want to mold her uh lionheart sermia is one of my favorites this season she's actually one of my favorite heroes in general just because of her uh, voice lines what how she looks and then her damage it just looks really cool uh, this is a pretty high gear score lionheart sermia minus the ring and the neck the ring is about 69 gear score this is like 65 or something uh everything else is like 70 plus so her gear score total is pretty high so on the stats page she actually looks pretty good in my opinion uh the proof of valor is on her not on a Robbie because I like her so much this proof of valor Sermia also uh, survives a lot of Rimru's which I'm pretty sure most people run Rimru into Lionheart Sermia it can probably one tap her uh, not this one not this one especially with through Aureus definitely not but I've survived it even without Aureus um, she survives quite well um, yeah the speed is good I, in my opinion just hopefully maybe upgraded neck upgraded uh, ring and then uh, she'll be She'll be even better. Um, I like the speed where it's at because it's like the right sweet spot. So either they get the dual attack too early or too late or whatever. If you do fast, you might miss that that moment. You know what I mean? Um, and she is triple S to get the crit rate there. So I have a lot of gear score because of the crit rate carrying the self imprint. Fire Robbie was rebuilt because I had this ancient inheritance kind of stuff. So re like kind of kind of like spare gear. Uh, spirit counter gear and I'm just like hey this kind of works uh, I did use her once to beat a AOL DN comp uh, fire Robbie and a Robbie together um, actually it was really fun draft uh, this is a ERBBK uh, which is on also on counter which is really really nice to have I think the damage is actually okay for the amount of stats I have uh, the ER with the bastion artifact the 20 plus the 50 ER I'm looking at about what 246 ER uh, so it does survive 
some stuff uh like i've run her into peras and and also luck rng some cecilia's uh so so she she does work most of the time she gets banned though actually versus cleave uh c lilius at 302 speed the effectiveness even on mine is low so i mean i wouldn't even be able to debuff my own amelia just like i said um 302 speed is actually pretty nice i've actually outsped a couple of people's payras uh who were maybe clocked at 305 speed or something around there so my current para um but because the speed rng 302 is very close so sometimes i outspeed that it's very very nice to have the bulk is not there um ideally i can actually get a completed hit set so that she gets that 20 percent effectiveness unfortunately she can't um but uh it, it is what it is and speed gear on my account uh, it's a lot of purples, so we're getting like a lot of unusable substats as well. So a lot of wasted stats here and there, but um, you know, speed chasing is really fun. Uh, DN, uh, DN taking some of my payroll gear, as you can see there, the effectiveness rolled, the effectiveness rolled. Uh, if I roll those into effect resistance, then she gets maybe up to 18 more effect resist, which is really nice. With the Gemini Soul Weaver buff, she gets an additional 12% effect resist, so 130 base. So it's very, very nice. This used to be on my ML Kalric, but I gave it to her. Uh, I would probably want to roll that to max. Let me see if I have one. Nope, I don't. Uh, max HP there, uh, that is. Uh, this is a flat HP. This was also on my Para. 21 speed uh good thing dn's uh hp is not super 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 high so this is about like a 50 percent hp main uh which is whatever it's low bulk but i like my dn fast now it's very very fun so those are the stats cr man ideally more hp i've had an issue where i was running uh, a mock battle with uh with elf mage and his strays one shot not Carmen, but one shot my A Ravi, <laughs> so she wasn't taking the uh, she wasn't taking the damage. Um, so in in the future she needs more HP. Um, so she's a work in progress. Uh, also a decent knight though. I have I have drafted her to win. Um, if you draft your knights late, like I said, you can choose whatever knight you want for the right purpose instead of just saying oh FCC first pick. Uh, uh, this Ruel uh did help in the uh, tournament as well. She got a bit nerfed as I needed to prioritize some of the gear onto Crow, and you know my gear spread a bit thin, uh, but she works. Um, with the Guardian Crystal, she helped win my first fight versus Xander in our set. Uh, Destina is honestly looking really good. Not this one, but in terms of the hero, I think her position in the meta is going to be very strong, especially after the Cancer Soul Weaver buffs. She's going to get more speed, so it's very, very nice. Uh, I'm probably going to look into more serious gear in the future for her. Um, never drafted her once, but uh, she is built for RTA. All 78 heroes, as you can see on the top right there, uh, all are uh, are built for RTA. Uh, my counter RB, it's mainly for high damage, so when he revives, he kills instead of not killing. Uh, Elena was built because of uh, Elf Mage told me to build her for anti tr anti closer Charles, uh, because my opponent uh, for the last set uh xander was a really strong ml charles user um so he told me to build her i did build her but i ended up pre-banning his ml charles um, but i did use her in the ladder versus an ml charles watcher shuri draft which was xander's draft and she won the fight so that was pretty cool uh eaton i don't like using to be honest um so he's on some like random gear that just makes him work if i need a damage sponge uh chosen late of course Shu. I've seen her damage, it's very very insane. Uh, I actually uh, imprinted her uh, with my spears, I didn't wait for the MLs. Um, and uh, damage wise it's insane, I tried it in arena and I know a lot of people are using her now. Uh, I'm not confident in drafting her yet, so I haven't really used her. Um, but she is Mola to some degree, so that uh, if I do need to use her, she's ready. Green Violet. Uh, decent overall I think um, just like you know the damage is right the crit rate exactly right for his perception buff uh, the bulk is uh, maybe more defense would be nice but I don't like I don't mind the HP I like the HP pool there Emma Kawazu one of my actual favorite heroes this season in world arena especially after the uh, ee I put him on the immunity one so that he's he's there for the longer fight um, it's really cool to have him paired with like a DN ML Kalric and they chose like they choose like a Politus and then you draft him in and so that you trigger the Politus he gets he gets a vigor buff self vigor buff he got the attack buff and then she he has immunity so she can't disable him and then with the Huayang artifact 
uh, having 10% more attack, you're getting like in on my stat page, I'm almost getting another 500 attack before I even get a vigor buff, before I get an attack buff. Um, and if I land the extra burn, this thing kills. This thing kills. It hits hard. Um, I do like him. I do think that uh, like with mitigation and with a cleanser, he can actually solo a lot of stuff. Like Arsim and Shadow would be scared of him. Lionheart Sermia would be scared of him. He takes out those like 15,000, 16,000 HP bruisers quite easily. Uh, Fire Shuri built only for the speed imprint, but also damage in case he actually gets a turn. Um, I usually would put him on Sasha Thanes. This must be reflecting my one of my Abyss runs. I just forgot to uh, do the artifact. Uh, my Bellion on injury set. Here are the stats. Uh, when chosen rightly, uh, she works. Uh, that ring actually needs an upgrade. Um, she's not the best gear score all around, and, and I didn't even max of that because I never felt that I had another turn where I had an S3. I don't think I've ever survived that long with a Bellion. It's either the opponents die or, or she's dead. Uh, ammo haste definitely fallen off with May Chloe not being used as much because of Rimuru and all those other stuff. Uh, and then uh, RB not being used. My second Angel of Light, I showed the D Gen one. Uh, this one was basically one of my guildmates, Vaxis, talked me into building this one for anti cleave. So I just built it. I am in the in the process of farming friendship for her. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, and then I should quickly show the stats. Oh, this is very unoptimal though. Uh, this was basically a speed chase. Um, in the future, I should be able to get something pretty replaceable for this. More effect resist or something like that. Uh, effectiveness. Okay. So Fire Charlotte uh, actually well won me the game. Uh, the last uh, match in the tournament. So uh, I really like this Charlotte. Uh, the bulk is slightly on the low side, uh, but there's not much I can do. I really opted for more damage and uh, I'm really satisfied with her damage output. Um, so with her own CR boost, the speed is actually not a big deal. Uh, and then with some supports to survive her turn, she's very, very deadly to deal with. Um, if I did have a triple less, of course, getting that extra 9% extra attack, I think she'd be near 4k attack. Really, really nice to have, of course, the attack down on the S1 and then the unhealable on the S3, very, very nice. Wander Silk also made a play, especially in my preseason right now. She's also very cheap to build. Um, if you do have her at Triple S, is a 14 speed imprint, definitely invaluable. You have to have her built. Um, on Mines on Guiding Light, just in case I need to bring her into a speed contest fight, but I didn't want to get her sniped out. Her function is still pretty strong, especially when she gets buffed. She could push back, silence, attack down. She can also do a dual attack with the uh, highest attack uh, up like a teammate. So very, very nice to have. Um, uh, I use her in arena right now and I drafted her, like I said, in some world arena, especially in the preseason when it's actually really fun. Uh, Rem, this Rem was built on one of the uh, Vinny coaching sessions uh, I did with him on the Discord. And uh, this turned out to be a pretty good rem. I think overall it has like the bulk I need. It has the damage where it needs. Um, overall, this is a pretty nice rem. It is triple less though. LKC saw a nerf uh, during the season. I gave her more HP. The defense I can't get any higher. Unfortunate. Um, and she should be able to scale HP uh, defense pretty high or uh, pretty easily. Her crit rate also dropped really low, but if I don't send an Amelia into her being attack buffed, then I shouldn't have really much crit rate issues. Um, but in general, I don't like drafting LQC a lot. I never liked her slowness, but in some scenarios, LQC is honestly just really strong and opponents have to think around like, okay, how do I disable her or is she the, is she the force ban, right? Like, do I disable her with a key save, fire hand guy, stuff like that. Uh, SSB, injury SSB, this helped me win the showcase match, or not the showcase match, but uh, the semifinals uh, versus Samu Gamer, uh, injury SSB with my Mort, and a lot of the people didn't even know she was on injury, um, until like too late, really, um, I, I, I remember seeing a lot of the, uh, stream chat, and they were like, oh, Mort already did a couple S3s, and I'm like, what? He was reset, he didn't even do an S3, um, and, uh, the, uh, Samu Gamer's, uh, uh, a Robbie was already 50% health. Anyways, I like injury SSB. I've always believed that injury heroes should be built somewhere. Uh, with injury set now being upgraded, uh, we'll see. Maybe maybe more heroes will see injury. Um, Green Armin, uh, also pretty good this season, especially against Para. This is why Para is also one of the weakest openers compared to the big three. See Lilius Ran. 
uh, rank can provide immunity, so it kind of skips the the Armin stun check. Um, but yeah, my Armin is just like high damage. Uh, it's just really, really fun to use if I get to use her. Um, I've actually once won a fight with, uh, uh, I know, a, a well-known cleaver. I knew it was a cleaver. It went payroll first pick because I already banned the Ran and the Sea Lilies was banned. And I went Armin A. Ravi and it pivoted out of cleave. But Armin still did her work. It was pretty cool. Uh, and, and I won, of course. Uh, and then uh, Rowana, just, you know, so simple to build. Honestly, you don't need really premium gear on her. I suppose if you give her a speed boot, she'd be better turn cycling. But I guess it's not really needed. But either way, she's really easy to build. And then Singelica, not really much to talk about. But Taurus Soul Weavers are getting buffed after this uh, or soon. So she's going to get more speed. Just straight up. Um... So that's pretty much it. Um, all 78 heroes that I built for RTA, anytime I wanted to use them, pocket picks, they're all built here. Uh, that's the showcase. Hopefully you guys, uh, you know, enjoyed my uh, video. Uh, I'm going to end this with the video recording. If you guys have Discord, check out the Discord server. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to YouTube if you haven't. As always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.